Hi, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are gonna talk about the kettlebell clean. We have a bunch of cleans that we need to make sure that we learn, right? The barbell clean, full clean, squat clean, power clean, hand clean, all of those things that you're gonna learn probably at CrossFit, because they're probably the ones who do the most barbelling, other than if you're a collegiate athlete, which the odds are low that you are. So, the kettlebell clean is a more accessible version of a clean. A clean is anything that starts, you know, kind of below the waist and comes up and ends up in our rack position. When we do our kettlebell clean, we want to make sure that we're not using barbell wrists. So when you're using those barbell wrists, you have that big bend in your wrist and you're lifting your elbows way up in front and you're getting that extension. We are not doing that with kettlebells. With kettlebells, we are bringing our arm up, tucking our elbow down to our hip, making this bone vertical and we're making this fist flat. If we see this, we see somebody who has not done enough kettlebelling with a proper coach. So nice and flat. I compare everything in kettlebelling to like, it should be like a punch. This should be like a chambered punch that's going to be delivered out. The same thing is true about your presses. They should not end up with the kettlebell behind you with a barbell wrist. They should have a nice flat wrist and you should get more extension out of your shoulder. Kettlebell cleans, very important. Why? Cross body stabilization. I'm going to say it like literally every video. Right, when I do this, I bring it up, I catch. I have a core fire at the bottom as the kettlebell passes between my legs and swings back where I'm gonna get a piece of ab fire, right? I'm gonna get a cross stabilization. As I bring it up and I bring it to a stop, the kettlebell is on one side of my spine, which means the other side of my spine, all those muscles are going to contract to keep me from falling over sideways. So, cheap trick, do kettlebell cleans get more abs. Barbelling, you tend to do lower numbers, right? You do five sets of five, even if you do it all day, right? How many reps do you really get in? With kettlebell cleans, it's a much faster exercise. In 10 minutes, you could do 200 reps. Do not start trying to do 10 minutes and 200 reps. It will rip you in half. So it's gonna start just like your single arm swing or your hand-to-hand -hand swing. You are gonna start with that thumb pointed backward, that handle parallel to your body, and you are going to push the weight back. It should be all up in your business. If it is not up in your business, you are not doing it right. This part of your arm should be contacting the inside of your leg, right? All up in your business. If there's a big gap here, you are not doing it right. Get it closer to your body. Don't worry, you're not gonna cripple yourself. Hand on. This hand off the body. Do not stabilize your body. If you put your hand on your leg, what are you doing? You're not doing your abs, right? Don't let your arm cheat you out of getting this muscle. Hand on, other hand out. Push back, bring it up. You'll notice that elbow is close to the body the whole time. At the top, straight legs, tailbone tucked, booty of steel, cross body stabilization, ribs point down. Just holding this weight, this muscle is on. Make sure we have that nice flat wrist. None of this. If your arm hurts, you're probably doing this. <sighs> Figure it out, suck it up, make that flat. In order to do that, let's take a little brief foray and talk about kettlebell grip. So, barbell grip. When we get our barbell grip, we have those bent wrists and that bar is parallel to our hand. Why? Because it's a big bar. So we have to adapt to the bar. When we do kettlebells, we force the kettlebell to adapt to us. We're gonna get that hand up. We have points of contact. High point of contact, low point of contact, third point of contact. One, two, at least three, right? You'll notice this is not parallel. This is at a very nice 45 degree angle down. If I open my hand and my fingers are pointed up, then I'm doing it right. If I open my hand and my fingers point out, I need to fix my grip. You're gonna to have to figure it out. Get it to here, arm lined up, elbow bone is going down towards sitting on top of this hip bone. Sport kettlebell guys wrap their whole body around it. Cool, great, highly efficient for competition. If you're a normal person who's working out, stand up tall and straight. Why? Because none of us are doing that in our daily life. 
So we should really focus on standing up tall and straight. Drive the shoulder down, fire the lat, make everything strong. We're gonna start this by doing simple sets, right? You should know how to do a kettlebell clean, right? It's in the repertoire of cleans. You should be able to do barbell cleans, you should be able to do kettlebell cleans, you should be able to do heavy club cleans. When you can do all of those, then, you know, sandbag cleans aren't that bad. Med ball cleans are pretty simple. All right, so these are the technical ones that you're gonna have to learn to do. This has been Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica with some uh, instructional tips on the single arm kettlebell clean. <laughs>